During an aerial tour of the devastated Northeast, President Eisenhower, shocked at the havoc, follows the path of destruction in the country's worst flood. And of ruin, there is plenty for the president to see. For what was once one of the nation's most prosperous regions, a series of small industrial towns, are now sodden heaps of wreckage. These were once thriving manufacturing communities, whose products were the handiwork of Yankee craftsmen. Now their remains stand under the watchful eyes of National Guardsmen on the lookout for prowlers and looters. For the government and all relief agencies have taken over, and an attempt is made to assess the damage toll that already has reached into the billions. The immediate needs, food, medical attention to guard against the grim specter of disease. Already $75 million in federal funds is being made available for the most pressing relief work, with more to be voted by Congress as necessary. The President has urgently asked all Americans to aid their stricken fellow citizens. Meanwhile, with characteristic courage, the digging out begins for the long pull back. Mountains of debris must be removed and communications restored, but come back it will, for this is one of the cradles of America's greatness.